ladies and gentlemen, the Buffalo Sabres were scoring at will during the last month and a half of the 2021-22 season, and it is no coincidence that Victor Olofsson got hot during that time. Today, we look at the perplexing player that is Victor Olofsson and what could be his future with the Buffalo Sabres. Olofsson was a 7th round pick from the 2014 draft who made his name in the Swedish Hockey League through wicked snipes and great sharpshooting. He was kept in Europe for a little longer than anticipated due to his lack of a physical game and when he eventually worked that up, he made the transition to North American hockey. With some, this transition can be slow and difficult, but for Olofsson, he couldn't have been any farther from that. In his first season with the AHL's Rochester Americans, he posted 30 goals and 63 points in 66 games, showing off an added sense of playmaking in the process. It was there that the Greater Sabres fan base caught on to his talents, and at the end of the 2018-19 season, he had a late-season audition with the Sabres, getting two power play goals and four points in six games. He was able to take this late-season momentum and carry it over into the next season, having six goals in the month of March. However, all eight of his opening career NHL games came on the power play, and it was clear that his 5-on-5 game was below average at best. As expected, he flamed out after the Sabres power play flamed out, having four goalless droughts of five games or more. Ultimately, though, he finished the 2019-20 season with 20 goals and 42 points. He moved on then to the COVID-shortened season of 2020-21. Olofsson's 5-on-5 game didn't improve with 7 of his 13 goals that season coming with the man advantage. Then again, I don't blame him for his regression that season as Ralph Kruger is a hack and one of the worst coaches the Sabres have ever had in their history. Don't test me on that, I know it for a fact. His game clearly sucked this season and there were talks of him being traded at the deadline. But when interim coach Don Granado came in, he helped clean up Victor Olofsson's game, as did he with the rest of the team. He cleaned everybody's game up, and he gained a second berth with the Sabres. All of this backstory leads us to last season, in which he tied his career highs in goals, 20, career highs in assists with 29, and career high in points with 49. And even better for the Sabres, his general trend of leeching off the power play died, as he scored only 7 of his 20 goals on the power play. He showed a much more well-rounded game and was one of many longtime Sabres players to have a bounce-back season under Don Granado. And after his resurgence season, it's important, not only that, it's imperative that the Sabres re-sign and extend Victor Olofsson. He made $3.05 million last season and will be a restricted free agent this offseason. By the time next season rolls around, he will be 27 and entering his prime. And as the Sabres continue their newest installment of the Eternal Rebuild, he looks to be a top 9 winger for the Sabres. After an injury mid-season, he returned and rotated between the second and first line right winger. When on the second line, he formed nice chemistry with Peyton Krebs and Dylan Cousins. And on the first line, he thrived alongside the also resurgent Tage Thompson. Much like Jeff Skinner, though, Olofsson needs a top center next to him that can drive the play, as Olofsson isn't a great entry zone rusher. Despite this flaw, Olofsson was graded very highly by the Corsi metrics, as he was in the top half of forwards in the NHL with a 73.65 rating. For context, Buffalo's highest scorer, Tage Thompson, only had a 68 rating last season. Olofsson was also a staple on the Sabres' second power play unit. However, he turned into more of a playmaker in the far side faceoff circle than just a pure shooter. Looking at all of the data and just using the basic eye test, it is clear that Olofsson was a large part of the Sabres' late season resurgence. And because of this, the Sabres should look to bring Olofsson back on another three year deal, maybe another bridge contract, at around four to five million dollars per season. Thanks for watching and make sure to get the conversation rolling in the comments section. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe as well. Thank you so much for watching and see y'all next video.